Hello, in this section I'm going to show you how you can make up your first scene. Uh, as we know, a scene file is used within Point HD Trainer to create a customized user interface. Um, so if we click on New Scene, uh, we see our first um, blank screen. Um, so anything in the blue area is uh, what's going to be our uh, still image or a video clip or a web page and at the bottom we can see our grey toolbar which is currently blank. So let's start by adding a background. So if we click on background um, we see a list of options. So if we click on still image and um, browse to your particular picture areas where you've um, stored your uh, video backgrounds. Um, so here I'm just going to pick one. Um, let's pick that. Okay in the next options we can um, uh, have the actual size of the picture we can either fit it or we can use full I'm going to use full because I want to fill the entire uh, display area with my still image and now let's go and add some tools to the toolbar so if we click on the tools button at the top uh, we see our current list of tools that are in uh, available within the point HD trainer um, so to add any particular tool or number of tools to the toolbar just click on the button and they'll get automatically added so let's add a draw let's add a couple of arrows a curved arrow a graphic spotlight split line let's add a zoom and a circle and a rectangle okay so once we've done that we've got our basic tool set here and as you can see um, when we add more tools than the toolbar is set to display we get these left and right arrows to allow us to navigate um, but to make things easier well you can click on toolbar and let's extend that um, to the number of tools so let's adjust that to 10 tools <coughs> so that I don't have um, the, the blue arrow buttons coming up anymore Okay, you can reposition this toolbar anywhere on the screen that you wish. Um, let's make that a little bit bigger. So let's go to a size 3 setting. And of course, in here you can also uh, choose whether you want a horizontal or you want a vertical toolbar. I'll stick with uh, horizontal for now. So let's just click on OK and um, just use some of the tools. So if we use the basic tools, we can see that they have some sort of a basic default look and feel to them. Um, so what we can do is uh, we've got two arrows here so let's uh, customize and change the color of one of these arrows. So to change any settings of a particular tool um, just select it and click and hold for two seconds or more and the tools configuration will pop up and within here in each tool you have different options so I'm going to go to the color section and you could either trim it by going exactly to the red green blue or you can just use the swatch uh, to quickly pick a particular color that you want so in here I'm also going to adjust the alpha value so you'll see that the tool is semi transparent um, so that means that we're not hiding the action uh, whenever we're drawing something Okay, we'll explain some of these other functions in some of the other tutorial videos more in depth. But for now, let's have those added in. Um, so now if we draw that, we can see we've got two different colored arrows. Okay, so now that we've added in our um, first scene and our toolbar settings, then what we can do is um, save it. So if we click on close, and give it a name and we'll call this my scene one save it okay and then when you come to do the actual show or the presentation you use the load scene mode or if you have multiple scenes that you want to use you can create a new sequence so let's start with load scene and see how that's going to look so if we click on my scene and wait for that to open now you'll see that the other extra setup tool buttons have disappeared and all we have is just the tools 
um, when you're in load scene mode or the presentation mode you can't adjust any of the tool settings because uh, we don't want any configuration options popping up during the show um, so you can just use whatever you've preset or customized and of course if you need to edit anything then you can just open the scene back up into edit scene and uh, adjust whatever settings that you need. Thank you.